Well, police in Gary are investigating the shooting death of a 13-year-old boy there. He was found lying face down in front of a church that was in the 1300 block of Lincoln Street around noon yesterday. He had gunshot wounds and was declared dead at the scene. Mm. The FBI and Chicago police SWAT team called to investigate a potential standoff on the city's northwest side. WGN's Andrea Medina is live on the scene with more. Andrea. Hi, Ray and Lourdes. We're in the Hermosa neighborhood right off of Cosner Avenue. There's no longer a scene here, but investigators are still in the area. We're still working to confirm lots of information about why the SWAT team was called here. But again, we are still working to get that information confirmed. But we do know that the FBI is handling this investigation. We did speak with the owner of the right beside her right behind us, and he explains what he saw this morning. This warehouse near Cosner and Cortland Avenues in Hermosa was the center of an investigation Thursday morning. As soon as we heard something was was off, we shut everything down and got out of got out of the police way. The Fire Arts Center of Chicago works out of this building and several other businesses, including the Right Bee Cider. Co-founder Charlie Davis says he and some employees were canning cider around 10 a.m. when CPD told them to evacuate. Somebody came into the building into our our neighboring tenants space and because they knew that somebody was in the building potentially armed they asked us to leave the area SWAT the FBI and CPD surrounded the warehouse for several hours we felt safe because there was an immediate police reaction and they were here with a lot of presence keeping us safe so I don't I think at any point I felt unsafe. The North Grand High School was put on a soft lockdown due to the police activity. In a statement, the principal says, as soon as the Chicago Police Department confirmed there was no safety threat to our school community, we lifted the soft lockdown. No students or staff were injured and everyone is safe. There are reports that possible suspects involved in a bank robbery were tracked at this building. CPD has not released details of the incident, but the FBI does confirm there was a bank robbery at the BMO Harris Bank in Lyle around 9 a.m. They have not said if the two incidents are connected. Regardless of the the attention that we we that this building got today for any nefarious reasons you know it's a really welcoming nice community space that people can come and hang out at this time it's unclear if anyone has been arrested the fbi has not specified how much money or if any money um, if the robbers were able to get away with any money uh, at the bank there in lyle and also we are still waiting to receive further details about what happened here and when we get those details we'll be sure to let you know we're live in hermosa andrea medina wgn news okay thanks andrea